All right, the worm did work. Oh, oh it's just getting better. It's looking better, it's looking better, it's looking better. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wake up. It's time to go fishing. It's just a little before 6 a.m. And we carried all this gear down. We left the kayak here last night so we could sneak down here because the gates of this place don't open until 8. Um, there is a day free day use. Across the way, it looks like some people are already getting in over there. But since we had been camping here, I just decided to leave this down here. Load up and then we'll get on the water and I'll turn us back on once we get to some action. We're out on the water. Bad news is some people beat us. Somebody's reeling in a fish right now to the spot I was trying to get to. I guess I should have got up when I woke up at 4.30. They're already fishing the cove that I want. And they already caught one. I might have to head that way. I'll go down there and see what's like. Alright, this corner doesn't have the amount of mats that the other one does, but it has some. That's where we're going to start. Right along these cattails. I'm going to try to toss it into the cattails and bring it out. First blow up. Got these stabilizers in the way right now. That was a blow up. This frog feels heavy already. good one they got stuck in those mats my drag is not tight enough and that was right on the fall so I think I'm gonna toss a worm in there real quick let's just toss in a worm right where that was let's see if I'll go for that let's see if Ivan Ooze can come to the rescue well, that wasn't anywhere near it. those white things out of your view for you. They are now on the sides. And I can reach back and get my gear without worrying about flying over. Oh yeah, another reason I wanted to do that was to grab the, grab the scent. Juice this frog up. Give him a little more reason to hold on to something.
in the garbage truck. We're all juiced up. Frogs all procured up. Got it, got it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at this guy. That's, that's a frogfish. Get a photo of this guy. Alright. That was a nice hook though. That was in there. Alright, alright. Look at that fat belly. Fat belly, not a bad length. Beautiful fish. Mm, a couple of the strands already coming out. It's a little bit of a mess, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. It's still a bit of a mess. The legs aren't gonna last very long on this guy, jeez. Did you guys put glue in your legs? I have a problem with fish stealing the legs. That was my first fish on it and the legs are already pulling out. Alright, well that was exciting for the first fish of the day. See if there's any more over there. So far I think it's the biggest one I've got out here. Hmm. Not impressed. Not impressed. Let's change. Oh, oh, it's getting better. It's looking better. It's looking better. It's looking better. I'm like wasting my time on there. That's some good juicy corner right here. It still looks several feet deep. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this corner. Surprisingly, no blow-ups back here. Figured this would be a good spot for them. You know what? Just to make sure it's not the color, maybe I'll take off my Ivan Ooze purple. I'll put on a yum dinger in my elder favorite elder's magic color. Using a screw lock because there's just so much vegetation here. All right. Oh, there was fish in here. Cool. Jeez. Fingers still hooked. Reeled him in too much. But yeah, we got this guy here. There we go. 
All right. All right, let's get you unhooked. You're in there pretty good. And you're fighting it. It's not helping. Nope, fires. All right, buddy, hold on. You're getting a little blood, but it looks like you're coagulating, so that's good. Let's see. We may have to come. Oh, sorry, buddy. Yeah, they definitely have some blood going on here. Well, there we are. All right, this is saving trouble. I got the hook out. All right, he looks all right now. Let's get a picture of him. Get him back in there. This guy might not make it. He got like way, way, way in there. Maybe he will. I'll watch him. If he comes back up again, we'll keep him. Yeah, unfortunately that happens. This guy just swallowed the heck out of that. You, know, you saw I tried it, it went through the uh, so the gill got the hook out. It looks like what happened is he swallowed it and then somehow got it, came out of his gill. And it probably hooked into one of his gills. Yeah, he doesn't look to be doing so good right now. If he doesn't make it though, I will eat him. I don't have anything against the taste of bass. I just like to, like most people, keep them for fishing sport, you know, sport fishing. Keep the populations going. Come back. He's still here. Flopping around. They're still here. He's dead. I'll bring him back. Fortunately, guys, that's happens. It happens. Well, so far we're two fish in. And we've explored some spots. Ugh, the wind. Sure putting up the fight. Wind sure putting up the fight. End of the dam. That corner over there looks a little more protected from the wind too. It's like a little creek around the dam. I'm gonna go try over there, Texas rig too. Some bait fish just exploded. I was trying that giant trout lure again. Not the one from Timu, but the rubber one. And some fish just erupted over here. Something might be chasing them. So let's see if we can get a little closer and toss in a, a worm. Let's see if they want to go after that. Well, that was not it, but okay. Did work. The worm did work. Oh, okay. Drop. Oh, I got nowhere to set this pole. Sorry, dude. Dropping the worm in in the brim area. I was just kind of trolling it actually. Threw the other bait out. Caught this guy. Midday though. It's like three. like 3 p.m. Oh man, he got himself hooked to it. Ooh. 
Hey, Luke. Back in you go. There's more brim or shad or bluegill, whatever bait busting the surface. So I can get a wacky rig on. The ignited amber. Just that kind of flame core amber shell. Homemade. Homemade color. Custom. Can't find that one anywhere. I think these ones didn't have enough sinking additive. Oh, there they are here. So I got a weighted hook. And yeah, it doesn't sink that much. It's perfect. Push the cast a little further. Start moving this way. Where they're chasing them. This is where we just got that other one anyway. Fish on. Woo. Oh. No, my bait. I should be able to save it. Hold it. Floating. Floating. <laughs> okay, it's a floating bait. But I felt a nibble. Oh, no. Oh. Stand there. What if you're a tournament bass? I was just about to give up. I reeled it up a little bit. Felt a nibble. Woo. There we go. Not too bad. Let's get a photo with this guy. You won't see this, but I'm going to put that bait back in there. Just for the photo. That's where you would have been. It. All right, guys. All right, guys. Want to hook them? Get back in the water. Let's see what else we can dig up. back on when something happens this is what i'm gonna be doing all right you guys are off but can you guess what happened another guy on the ignited amber these are super exciting i just like it because i made them this guy is very feisty <laughs> and we're gonna crash and it's all good it's all good. It's a mess out here sometimes, you know. That's a nice hook set, though. Look at that. Right in the middle of the jaw. Little guy. Wasn't coming off, though. So. Alright, guys. Little guy. Come back in. Down by the water's edge where the shadows lie. Mortician sits alone with the gleam in his eye. He's got a coffin for a boat and a line made of bone. He's not fishing for a catch, but for souls to bring home. Mortician by the bay with the 
Alright. Didn't make it. Let's head back to camp for now. Here, there's some peanut right there. 